Hello, this is Dan Nobles, and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a realistic character using Blender and Make Human. And just to give you an example of a character that I made, uh, this is a character that I've been working on for a project. And uh, as you can see, kind of realistic looking. I need to do something about these long eyelashes, but um, hope you're going to see more of this guy and his crew soon. But in order to get started, you need to go and download the uh, Make Human program, and you can go to do that by going to the makehuman.org website and go to the download area. And you can either get the uh, there's two different versions you can get. Actually, there's a few versions you can get, but if you're using Windows, you could get the um, the regular download version, which is version one alpha six, or you could download one of the nightly builds because they change the code uh, almost on a nightly basis. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial I am using one of the nightly builds and hopefully it'll work out okay because uh, the nightly builds are a little bit more they're prone to be a little bit more buggy because um, they're not uh, checked out as probably as good as the, uh, the regular downloaded version. So once you download that go ahead and start Make Human and while this is loading up, uh, I just want to say that this is a free program like Blender. Uh, if you have uh, this dash of cash sitting there doing nothing, uh, you might want to send some to these guys because uh, they're just doing an excellent job in creating a program that really easy to use and very useful. Okay, so here's Make Human. And it starts off with this sort of uh, androgynous character. And... Uh, Let's see if I can zoom in here. I'm so used to using the uh, <laughs> the view. Or I'm sorry, view Blender um, controls that it's very kind of hard for me to move around in here. But so you can see, you start off with this basic character, and um, you have these sliders that can change the character around from female to male. You can change the age. Uh, you can decide if the character is toned up or whatever. Um, go into details, you can add all kinds of details here, you can look through those. Very, very easy to use program. Um, they, they've kind of really went out of their way to uh, make this program really to e easy to use. Arms and legs, you'll notice that some of the things that you're doing here unless I don't know what I'm doing. Well, maybe I don't. Okay, so it is changing. I thought that this was a function that uh, wasn't quite put in the program yet, but I guess with the um, version that I have, it is working. So you can go through here and change really any of these settings that you want. Uh, just tweak the heck out of it. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create a female character and we're going to bring that over into Blender. You can create whatever kind of character you want, do all, you know, play with all these settings and just tweak it however you want it to be. And then we're going to move forward in the next tutorial on bringing that character into Blender. So in order to get prepared for that, <clears throat> go ahead and do all your tweaking that you want to do and um, go into the library into clothes and you can add some clothes to the character. All you need to do is click on them if you add clothes that you don't want on your character you can just select the clothes again and and that'll take the clothes off um, eyes you can I guess uh, I'm not sure if this works yet but uh, I think maybe if, if you try it well, yeah it does does work that's nice okay uh, one thing that I do want you to do once you're finished tweaking your character go into the skin and add a skin to the character. I'm probably going to use this female young for my character since I'm using a uh, creating a uh, female character. Uh, the hair, you can play around with this but what I'm going to do later on I'm not going to use the hair that's available here. I'm actually going to add hair in Blender so if you want to follow along with that part then uh, go ahead and leave the hair off for now. But definitely bring a skin in because if you don't bring the skin in it's not going to bring in the textures that you're going to need in order to uh, work with it later in Blender. 
So once you did all that, uh, let's go to files and we want to go to export and in Blender you can uh, you can export it as an OBJ Blender will bring that in fine uh, the problem is you won't get any of the posing options that you're able to do in Blender so I want you to use the Blender Exchange the MHX format and come down here and click separate folder uh, expressions, face shapes, face panel, I bring all those in usually and then leave it on the use MHX rig and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine uh, MH underscore character and then choose export. So once you've done that we'll go ahead and go into the, the um, next tutorial which is importing your character into Blender.